<laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but better late than never. But nothing late is better. Shout out to Dre. You know that's my baby. <laughs> Just kidding. But I've been getting a lot of inquiries about how do I get my hair so curly? Like what is the process and I'm about to show you it's called shingling it's nothing new it's all the inflict the risk and the technique so if you guys want to see how I shingle my TWA continue watching Okay, you guys, so prior to getting to this point, which is I just have my leave-in in, I detangled, shampooed, and deep conditioned, and now we are here and we are ready to shingle. Um, I just use my go-to um, leave-in, which is Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I know it doesn't work for everybody, but my curls love it. I can already see the curls forming if I really wanted to and I wasn't doing um, a shingling format for um, my wash and go. I would probably just leave my hair like this with the clip in it so I could get the boompty boomp, you know, and <laughs> I would go. But we are shingling today. So I always put my leave-in um, conditioner in on dripping wet hair. So right after I wash out my deep condition, I go in with my leave-in just to make sure it soaks it right on up. And here we go with the techno pro technical process of shingling. So get you your clips girl and for me for people with TWAs um, I would suggest you map your style out first so um, for my short hair I like a you know a deep pour you know I like to give them something to look at you know a little shave a little cascade you know so <laughs> I would suggest that you map out the style of your hair first and then um, continue with the shingling because the direction and the way that you shingle is the way your hair will set and if you don't set your hair in the way you want it to look in the final form it won't it won't look right so you know let's get into it so i know i look crazy but i've just sectioned my hair off into some smaller sections and now i'm gonna go in with my styler and it's just rucker roots curl cream love her she thick um and she's a fave so i just take it and apply it to the section Good slip, good, good slip. Amazing slip. So after I feel like it's evenly coated, I take an even smaller section, clip that up. And for me with shingling, I use my Denman brush as an assistant. Yeah. I use my dimming brush as an assistant so I brush upward just to see how the curls are going to form and that's the way I know that I'm going to want to twist my finger and I also use a dimming brush to make sure there aren't any tangles so then I just go in and I start twirling the hair around my finger and the curls just pop back up For me, I have puffy roots, so I try to get my um, finger as close to the root as possible so that my roots can lie down. Okay, you guys, this is the final result. And can I say, <laughs> the curls are popping money, okay? Honestly, yeah, truthfully. So I don't um, put heat on my hair unless I'm deep conditioned or doing a protein treatment or doing a protein treatment so I air dry my hair and while I air dry my hair I'm just going to set my edges and we will be back tomorrow with the final results and you already know what it's going to be popping tin okay this is the final result y'all yes yes sir we're popping tin the curls are popping this you guys is the first wash and go or one of the first wash and goes I've done since my hair is back to 10 moisturized healthy all that and i'm loving it look at those oh yeah uh hold up not the world 
the curls. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Girl. Okay, just a few tips when you are shingling. When you're shingling and you put your leave-in in, make sure your hair is drenched. Make sure that when you are putting your styler on that your hair is actually taking in that moisture. If your hair is not actually taking in the moisture and it's sitting on top and you can tell what product looks like when it's just sitting on top of your hair, you can just you can see white beads. It's it's not cute. Make sure your hair is soaked and is actually taking in the moisture and it's guaranteed for the curls to be popping, okay? This TWA is everything. Shingling does take a long time. For me, I have shorter hair. So, I want to say it took me an hour to shingle, you know, and as you, my hair grows, going to take me longer. But the, the results are worth it. The results are very much worth it. I give you a new style, a new cut, a new color, okay? I'm on. Okay, so all the girls who've been asking me, what do you do to your hair? What is that? It's shingling, sweetie, and this is how we do it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned next week for more amazing hair care videos. Until next time, peace to you. Bye.